So hello, uh, welcome to my workshop today. Uh, my name is Rachel and I'm going to be doing a very basic workshop on how to make musical instruments with stuff you just find lying around your house. And if your house is on a thing like mine, it is literally just stuff that is just lying around the house. So um, we're going to be doing uh, some easy things and then maybe some uh, instruments that are a little bit more difficult. So we're going to start off with um, percussion shakers uh, as you know percussion instruments are things that you beat or tap or shake to set up a rhythm and there's absolutely boatloads of things around your house that you can make these from um, as you can see I've got uh, a few different things here now what you find for percussion shakers is what you need is something to rattle and something for it to rattle in so what I've got here for my rattlers um, Lots and lots of like just food stuffs around the house. I appear to have a large amount of marrow fat peas, dried marrow fat peas, which are great because they're quite big and they do a lot of rattling. And I also have uh, red lentils, which can be used. You can also use rice, uh, stuff that I don't have here, but which works would be like dried pasta as well, stuff like fusilli or the weed shell things. And if you even have like screws or nails rattling around the place or bolts. They also work. Um, so and also so so we've got our things to rattle, and there's loads and loads as, as well of things around the house that they can rattle in. So you've got here your basic container for uh, potato-based salty snacks, which I've covered up. But and then you can I've covered up for you. You can also you know decorate it as well. Smaller container for potato-based salty snacks. Uh, we dessert pots are very good. And of course, trusty inside of a kitchen roll, um, which, you know, you can also use the inside of a toilet roll as well if you want, uh, but I couldn't be bothered doing that. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so also what you need is probably scissors, some tape. I always use masking tape because it's very easy to repair any mistakes that you make with it. And a pencil, pen and some paper. First off, uh, we're going to start off with basically a nice big one, make a nice big sound. I'm going to put a whole rake of marrow fat peas inside this. Fill it all over the place as well. And basically, once you've done that, put another handful in. Again, these are very rough guides to how to do these things. With there you go. That's a nice big loud sound, isn't it? What I would say is if you are doing these things, always make sure that you take the top of them on because you do not want to be letting rip and then all of a sudden it comes off and you've got marrow fat peas everywhere or even worse lentils. Got that. We've also got these, which is a smaller version, so it also has a nice rattling sound. And these things rattle well because they're very good. The containers are very good because they've got a little metal bottom, which kind of makes things doesn't dull the noise quite so much. Do that. That's also good. Um, so you've got those, uh, but if you want, I mean, have a have a listen. I mean, take a while to experiment. So for example, you've got this with the peas, but you can also use the lentils. Scoop it up, don't try and pick it, because lentils are... <laughs> yes. Um, so, and that's a very different noise. So, as I said, experiment around with those. And, uh, yeah, draw wee rainbows on them or something. Um, with the... If you've got, if you like eating a lot of wee desserts and pots, take two of them and we'll do rice this time. You can put some rice into it. I'm hectic with spawn things today. And then what you can do is take your two wee pots, tear off some masking uh, tape. And then all you need to do is put one top, one pot on top of the other. 
and tape it up. All around it. And yeah, again, make sure that it's secure because if it explodes, rice everywhere. And there you go. Another little shaky thing. Um, for the kitchen roll, obviously you need something for the ends of it. So this is where the paper comes in that's useful. And then draw around it. Get a circle there. And then you can draw another circle around it like that. Uh, you can just do it freehand because it doesn't really matter. But since I've got this, I may as well. And then obviously do that twice so you've got a stopper for either end. And then take your scissors, cut them out. I'm gonna cut away now because nobody wants to see me just standing here with scissors cutting out circles. And once you've got the circles cut out, what you need to do is take your scissors and cut from the outer circle into the inner circle. Cut little wedges, and there doesn't need to be that many, just three or four. It just helps if just if, if you want to keep it a little bit tidy when you're putting the end on. So you've got that, and do that twice, obviously. And then just get the kitchen roll. And the cutting of the wedges just kind of helps it sort of fold down a bit more. And then masking tape. around like that and what should we use? We don't want those yet? Let's do those. Just and then all you need to do is obviously then just seal it up with the other bit. There we go. And because it's longer and there's kind of a softer sound because it's like paper and cardboard, you know, it can be used in a very different kind of way than, for example, this. So again, just experiment around and you can even use it. And as far as the That's percussion shakers done. Um, yeah, and as I said, you can also decorate them um, because that doesn't look very appealing.